My sister will adamantly deny that she's a natural leader, but her passion and enthusiasm are magnetic. She may not be the loudest person in a group, but she's probably the reason the group got together to have fun in the first place. Oh, like the stars that fill the sky, like the way I feel when I hold you. Gold, like the ring that's on my hand, and the promises you've kept, I hold to. You two are so incredibly lucky to have one another, and everyone here can vouch how lucky we are to have you two in our lives. So with that being said, we want to make a toast to the amazing couple that Mr. and Mrs. Lucas and Leah Frodi have built together, and with all those around them, and for the lifetime of jokes, fights, laughs, hugs, growth, and love. Father, it's a great joy and it's a privilege to bring Lucas and Leah before you now and dedicate them and this new marriage to you. Father, I just want to thank you for their love for you and for their desire to live their lives in a way that, a, that aligns with your word and brings great glory to you. Father, I just want to place them both. I want to place this marriage at your feet. May they ground themselves in your word. May they daily, moment by moment, keep their eyes on you. And may this marriage that's designed by you display your glory and declare the good news of Jesus, your son, to everyone around them. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Lucas and Leah, since you have vowed to each other into Christian marriage by making these promises, and since you have expressed your love to each other by the vows you have spoken, and the rings you have given, I now take great pleasure in declaring you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lucas, you may kiss your bride. Oh.